Chelsea Football Club as well as in the middle of something special. And this squad uh, is filled with talent across the board. And this is starting to show why they belong at the top of football. So it wasn't too long ago that people were skeptical calling out the club for bringing in too many faces. With this question, they started you wondering if this were the signings for the sake of it. But fast forward to now, it's all coming together. And this team is starting to gel. And you could all see how the talent is being displayed on the pitch. So uh, let's first start with some analysis on the midfield. So we could see that the midfield are uh, boast of players who could control the game with ease. For example, we've got uh, Enzo Fernandez. Uh, yeah, I've known that Enzo Fernandez, this season hasn't really been good. And uh, sometimes under pressure, he forces passes. But in most games, you could see his impact in the games. For example, against Brighton, you could see how he played. And he's actually the art bit of this team, whether you take it, whether you like it or not. He's the type of player who can take the pace of the game. Uh, he's always scanning the field, always two step ahead. And it's his ability to turn defense into attack in an instant that makes him a key figure. Whether it's a well-timed interception or an inch perfect pass that breaks the um, opposition lines. Enzo pulls the strange and makes everything tick. Though one of his greatest weaknesses are uh, his tackles. He's not very good at tackling players. This is where Enzo um, Casado comes in to assist him. But when it comes to that pass, that distribution, is very good at that. But it's not just about one player. Again, just have a midfield pack with options, as we all know. And the balance between creativity, work rate and intelligence is what makes it very impressive. We've got players who can keep the ball under pressure. And we've also got others who can spray passes across the pitch. And some who can make those late runs into the box, always looking for that killer goal scoring uh, opportunity. And again, there's also uh, Rich James. Yes, I know Rich James is an hospital player. He spent most of his time in the hospital. In fact, this season he has not played anything. He started the season as an hospital patient. But we know when James is fit, he's one of the best, in fact, one of the most complete footback in the game. James is a defender who plays with the energy and mindset of a winger. Yes. And his power, pace, and position makes him a constant threat down the right hand side. It's not just about defending, it's an outlet attack capable of whipping in dangerous crosses or cutting inside to create scoring chances. His ability to switch between defence and attack seamlessly is exactly what modern football demands and Chelsea are lucky to have him. Again, let's talk about the attacking options for a moment. Chelsea front line is packed with technical ability and creativity and they've got that kind of players who can unlock any defence, whether it's clear movement off the ball or individual balance on hit. These players make something happen, they play with flair but there's also a tactical discipline that has started to shine through. Uh, the, the way they are combining in the final third is a joy to watch, actually. Uh, for example, if you watched against Brighton match, you could see the impact Jackson had on their highlight. He was able to actually keep uh, the highlight at minimal and also he was able to break the, the highlight intelligently. And we could also see Kopama, his intelligence up front is not something that any team actually wants to face. You get it? And when you look at how this team plays, it's clear that there's also a lot of flexibility built into the system. This isn't a one-dimensional uh, team. They can switch between different styles of play with each, whether it's counter-attacking football, whether they break uh, at lightning speed or make um, or a more potent build-up that wears down the opposition. Just can adjust the flow of the game. And this is what makes them so dangerous. You never know exactly how they are going to hit you. And again, most of their goals this season, if you check it, is from counter-attacks. So, when we talk about the counter-attack part, Chelsea is very good at it this season. Very, very good. Again, another thing that stands out about this uh, Chelsea squad uh, is the work ethic. For the flair, for all the flair and uh, skill on display, there's a real, um, how would I put it, there's a real hunger to win the ball back, press high and defend as a unit. This isn't just a team full of talented individuals. Uh, it's a cohesive group that fights for every ball, covers each other's spaces and also works together to control the game. And watching how uh, these players close down spaces, win duels and quickly transition into attack is a masterclass in modern football. We all know this is something very very needed for every manager. They need all this kind of cohesive movements. So and it's not just about the established stars carrying this team. Just have invested heavily in young talent and these players are stepping up showing that they belong on the biggest stage. They bring energy, fearlessness and a fresh approach to the game. You can see the future of Chelsea being built right now with a mix of expressed head emerging stars all contributed to the success of the team. The way uh, these young stars are developing alongside the more experienced players shows a bright future for the club. Again, let's look at the tactical aspects of it. Tactically, Chelsea are starting to show that they can adapt to uh, different challenges. The squad is full of players who are versatile, who can switch positions, fulfill different roles, depending 
uh, on what is required in the game. Whether it's players dropping into the barrows to defend the lead or pushing up high to press and dominate position. This team has uh, all the tools needed to compete against the best. The intelligence on display both from the players and from the coaching staff is what allowed Chelsea to grow and improve as a unit. And I can commend um, Ezuma Eska for that aspect. He's been very intelligent making this team gel together so quickly. And again, let's not forget what Maeska is doing all started with Mauricio Pochettino. Although it took Pochettino a long time to actually make this team more compact the way they are. But towards the ending of last season, we could see how he was able to set them up and then Maeska was able to take it up from there. So, what is now exciting about this Chelsea team is that they are just getting started. Trust me, when we see 10 years from now, in fact, 10 years is too long, I'll give them 2 years from now and they are going to be competing with the likes of Manchester City, Arsenal, those big, big teams, Koyan, and they are going to see because uh, it's now clear, the trust in the process is now actually clear because I cannot see what the board are trying to do. They want to dominate Europe, not just dominating Europe, but with young players. Now, the idea is that when these young players are established, the new young players that are going to bring in, they will be learning from these young players that are there right now. So, they don't have to keep buying young players. These first ones are the ones suffering it. And where they get it, everything works well. And now, you can see that they're actually getting it and it's all clicking well. You can see the chemistry building on the pitch. Players anticipating each other's um, runs, finding spaces and working together in ways that are only going to get better with time. This is squad this squad has so much potential and the more they play together the more they unlock the next level the fans can feel it too and it's not just about the air and now it's about what this Chelsea uh, team is building towards Chelsea are in the process of shaping a squad that can dominate for years to come with the talent they have combined with the right mentality and tactical flexibility this is just this is a team that is not just aiming for success this season but for long-term dominance the future looks incredibly right and bright for Chelsea and with the level of uh, talent they've um, you know, assembled, they are well on their way to becoming one of the top teams in Europe. Like I said earlier, they are about to compete with the bigger teams. It might not be this season, it might be next season, or it might be two seasons from now. But as Chelsea continue to build momentum, there's no doubt that this team will be in the conversation for titles. The foundation is there, the players are hungry, and the fans are behind them. It's only a matter of time before the squad realizes um, its full potential and when they do, Chelsea will become one of the teams no one wants to face, both in England and across Europe.